The standard practice in developing this land for farming would have been to drain a valley like this. Um, there could have been a wetland there, there may not have been. As the land has been developed, sediment has built up in the valley bottom and we now have a fairly swampy valley bottom. Rather than run a digger up here every five to ten years and clean it out as a drain, we're now encouraging farmers to fence these areas out to act as sediment and nutrient traps. That tends to buffer what they do on their land, uh, their grazing, uh, any pugging, any top dressing, it buffers that stream from that effect of land use. Uh, much more effective than simply riparian planting. Riparian planting in this case would have no effect on trapping sediment, whereas a wetland in this case will certainly do so. We're on the Landcorp uh, property Omamri Station, uh, north of Dargaval, and this property is split about 50-50 uh, between draining to the coast, directly to the coast, and the balance draining to the Kaihu River catchment. It is on, most of it is on old sand country, old uh, dunes and sand terraces, some of them laid down under the sea. Most of it is podzolized sand, it's, it's, been, it's had cowrie forest on it and is very depleted. It would have been in scrub, just like the scrub we can see here. Um, that was frequently burnt through until about 1974 when the Commonwealth Games were on in Christchurch. Uh, it was moved off the news one night to show this huge fire that uh, burned almost from Kaiwi Lakes uh, through to Scotty's Camp Road. So covered a huge distance and completely burnt the scrub on this property. Landcorp took the opportunity to, while it was, was such a clean burn, to develop the whole property. So they delayed all their other work in Northland, concentrated on this block. It has its particular problems. Uh, being very old sand, it is subject to gully erosion and to sheet erosion in particular. But under the development that Landcorp have used, the development methods, they now have a good strong grass cover. Uh, it is certainly eroding, eroding a lot less under pasture than it ever would have under its natural scrub vegetation. Uh, the scrub vegetation was gumland scrub, um, short dracophyllum, uh, moss and rushes, and weak manuka, so not a very fertile sort of country, whereas in this sort of farmland it is now being used quite successfully. There is a large reserve next door to us here, that's a dock reserve, and incorporated in that reserve is a very large wetland. This particular wetland is of regional significance because it is a low fertility wetland and there, it's one of the few that are left, certainly in this part of Northland. We have drawn up a, a plan for this property. Landcorp will be doing some fencing, uh, in particular fencing out the wetlands we can see down here because they will act as a filter to strip out any nutrients and uh, sediment before that gets washed down into the low fertility wetlands downstream. So it's, a, it's land that the flats wouldn't be producing very much anyway and so it's better to fence them out, encourage them back into, in this case, a Raupo swamp, and that will act as a big filter. It will also, uh, this wetland and the one below it, um, absorb a lot of the runoff uh, when you get, a, get heavy rain. It um, collects in here and lets it out more slowly into the drains downstream. So what Landcorp is doing here is the sort of thing we're encouraging farmers to do on a lot of this sort of hill country.